Hi Scorpio, welcome back to Dallas Insightful Tarot. If you are new here, then thank you so much for joining me. I hope today that I can give you some guidance and clarity into your situation regarding love and the person that's most occupying your mind. Remember to only take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you need to flip and reverse the energies, I might be reading your person's energy as yours and vice versa. Then go ahead and do as you see fit, okay? Let's go ahead and jump in. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit of the divine and of the white light, please protect and guide me as I go through the tarot. Please give me the most precise, clear, and accurate messages for the sign of Scorpio. Sun, moon, Venus arising. What do they need to know right now at this time, angels? Messages from the white light of Christ, Holy Spirit. What do they need to know? Okay. Um, they're telling me not to take, okay, okay, they tell me to take all of them, okay. So the first card that we had that come out says, sever vows of poverty. Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made, consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. So you could have manifested not having money, Scorpio, by, you know, repeating this over and over and over. And it could have made some um, unconscious vow, okay? Whether, like it says, whether you did this consciously or unconsciously, this could have been something that you created from, you know, something like saying, I never have any, you know, money, okay? Instead of saying something like that, you know, say the complete opposite. Even if you don't have any, you will get money, okay? Speak it out into the universe. It will happen, Scorpio. Okay, we have gratitude list. It says, counting your blessings and feeling grateful for what you already have helps you be centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What and who are you grateful for right now? Keeping focused upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of the universe. Again, having a positive mindset. Okay, make a list of all the things that you're gratitude that you're grateful for, Scorpio. This can help because, you know, it's really, I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's easy to forget sometimes. There's so many things that we take for granted. Okay, we have dreams of abundance. It says, as you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. So I feel like if some of you are, okay, whether it be a relationship or maybe a new career, a new business idea that you have, when you dream, Scorpio, when you wake up, don't wait till the last minute to try to write it down because you're going to forget. I do that all the time. You know, even if you have like a recording on your phone, like a self-recorder, um, I know a lot of the times I'd I don't definitely don't feel like writing after I wake up. Um, I can barely feel my hands because they're numb. <laughs> um, so I feel like, um, you know, maybe just hitting a record button, even if it's just to yourself and, you know, saying what your dream was and then, you know, hitting enter. That way you have at least saved, right? While you go to the bathroom. Um, even if it's like in the middle of the night. Um, do that. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we had partnerships. Okay. It says allow helpful supporting partner supportive partnerships into your personal life and career and both parties benefit as a result you are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources so for some of you you could be meeting somebody who is um, being sent to you um, it, either it's an ancestor that's crossed over I'm feeling a masculine energy specifically um, I don't know why I'm hearing ex-husband, ex-partner or something. So um, maybe it was your ex-husband or spouse. Maybe you're widowed. I'm sorry if for your loss if that's you. Um, but I feel like if you have been, if you are widowed or something, I feel like this could be maybe somebody who's passed over who's trying to help provide some sort of um, need for, you know, maybe help or something that could benefit you in order to bring some skills and resources that you need right now. Okay. Um, maybe even somebody who could bring, be like a babysitter or who knows somebody who could sit your kids. That way you can take out a second job or, you know, get a loan through a different bank. You know, what, if it's like a credit union or something, um, there could be for some of you, that's what I'm hearing. Okay. Um, refinancing houses I'm hearing. Okay. Maybe so maybe there's for some of you, there could be like a mortgage loan, um, officer that maybe somebody knows I'm hearing or a broker. 
I'm also hearing insurance work. So somebody might have help maybe with insurance work after some sort of natural disaster, maybe a flood or, um, I don't know, I'm hearing infestation. So it's going to be different for all of you. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. Let's see what the Moonology cards have to say. These are very random messages today. Give me one overall Moonology Scorp uh, for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Venus arising. I feel like saying with all these cards that came out, Scorpio, to make a list of everything that you're grateful for. All that you have to be thankful for, okay? Remaining positive, okay? Dreaming about this abundance. It can be a reality, okay? Think positive is what I feel like saying. Messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus arising. Okay, we have bring love into the situation. You could be dealing with an Aquarius for some of you. Um, so I feel like maybe you could be um, on non-speaking terms with somebody right now, Scorpio. Um, if that's not the situation, maybe you just, maybe if you are on speaking terms, maybe um, the two of you haven't expressed your feelings to one another. Bottom of the deck, we have conclusions are within reach, okay? Um, something about the full moon, I'm feeling. Maybe this can happen during the full moon in eclipse. Um, but I'm feeling like, I feel like for a lot of you, I'm picking up that somebody, I'm feeling just with these other cards that came out, okay, no, this is not, this isn't your message or this isn't, um, I feel like for you, I feel like there was somebody in the past who took you for granted, Scorpio, okay, who you might have severed ties with, okay, um, and this person's dreaming about you. Okay, and they're and they're they're wanting to bring love back into the situation. I feel like they're going to be reaching out to you because they want to. They don't like the way things ended. That's what I'm hearing. That's very specific. Okay, I'm noticing right after I was going to put this card to the side. We have luck is on your side, so there is good luck. Okay, coming into the situation. Okay, for some of you, it could be a Sagittarius. Okay, let's pull a couple angel messages. Okay. Messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, Arising. What else does Scorpio need to know at this time, Spirit? I don't know why I'm hearing and you and now I pronounce you husband and wife, okay? Or partners, wife and wife. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing wife and wife. That's interesting. So maybe for some of you, you could be in a same-sex relationship. Um, specifically maybe two females I never hear that so I'm hearing that so maybe for some you you could be getting married or wanting or maybe even proposing maybe somebody could be proposing to you they're telling me to take that one we have heal away addictions okay it's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing Okay, addictions could be anything you could have an addiction to sex you could have an addiction to you know being on, you know, social media too much, you could have an addiction to, you know, having your phone in your hand constantly, or, you know, um, um, you know, a substance abuse addiction, hopefully not. But if that's you, they're asking you to pray to Archangel Michael, or I'm sorry, Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing, okay, because he's waiting, the angels can't help you unless you ask for help. So they wait for us to ask, okay, but when you ask, they will help, but you have to ask them. Okay, they don't just help you. Okay, it's not like a guardian angel. They want to help you, but you have to ask for them to help you in order for them to do that. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have Archangel Michael, which is interesting. I just said that name by accident. Okay, this says you are working very close with this powerful Archangel who's protecting and guiding you through the situation. So for some of you, maybe I'm hearing some of you could be going through a very nasty separation. Um, and I feel like um, if you are, I feel like maybe some of you are stressing about, you know, what's going to happen in court, what, what child support, maybe you have children, or maybe even just um, splitting your legalities, the, the final legalities of like your finances, maybe you own something together. I'm hearing vehicles in the home. So maybe some of you own certain things together with this person, maybe even possibly a business. Okay. Um, but I'm feeling like you could be, this is, this could be something that's really stressing you out. Okay. Um, for some of you, maybe the severing vows of poverty, maybe splitting from this person is going to take away, um, this poverty that you have. Cause I feel like you could have been, you could have been 
possibly, um, you know, when you're in a relationship with somebody who has a lot of karma, you could have been taking on this person's karma. Okay. Either way, I feel like the situation with this person is difficult. I feel like there's somebody who's very narcissistic or somebody who's just very greedy. Okay. Um, this person's trying to do the most. Okay. I feel like this person's trying to pull out everything to um, do whatever they can to stop you because they want to be with you, which is so strange. Um, it's like they're purposely hurting you to try to, I guess, manipulate you to stay. You're not falling for it. The spirit's saying they're not, they're going to make sure that you're okay. Visualize your success. See yourself doing well in the situation and have faith in a positive outcome. What did I say? Having a positive outcome is necess necessary right now. It's a necessity. Okay. Pray to God. Ask your angels for help. Like I said, they cannot help you unless you ask for help. Okay. Very interesting messages. But another card that I find interesting about um, visualizing your success, dreams of your abundance, okay? Um, and that you can make it happen. It's all in your mind, Scorpio. The bottom of the deck, we have manifestation power, okay? Use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. You are a very powerful manifester is what I'm hearing. Believe it, because you are. Okay, so... Let's pull, let's find out what's going on in, in the situation with this person right now. Put these to the side. I'm hearing, um, yeah, I keep hearing, I now pronounce you wife, husband and wife. So maybe some of you, maybe somebody you know close to you is getting married. Maybe this, um, sometime during this spring. Okay, or maybe if they, if you don't know anybody, maybe you know, maybe you're going to find out somebody's getting married. Okay, very specific. Maybe, for some of you, I'm hearing you might have a daughter or a son that's a, that they're going to ask to be the flower girl or flower boy. I don't know, that's so random. So, let's find out what's going on in the situation for Scorpio and love. Tell me what's going on. I'm going to lay a few cards down and then we'll go over everything afterwards, Scorpio. You tell me to shuffle. We'll lay the spread down and then I'll go over afterwards. Messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus arising. What does Scorpio need to know about this person at this time? One more shuffle. Wow. Bottom of the deck, we have love. This is beautiful, Scorpio. So right now, okay, somebody is definitely, um, I feel like for one, I feel like you have been showing yourself self-love. Okay. I feel like you've been pursuing your passions. Um, I feel like you have, you've had a glow up, Scorpio is what I'm hearing. Okay. Um, men, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like your, your finances are looking really good. I feel like you've been really career focused. I feel like um, you are finding, for some of you, I'm hearing maybe some of you could be finding more time to work on yourself, maybe to go to the gym. Um, I'm hearing golf, okay, so maybe some of you golf. But I feel like um, video games, <laughs> okay, I'm also hearing video games, so maybe some of you like video games too. Um, and reading, some of you like reading murder mysteries or something. I don't know. That's weird. Um, I feel like right now you have been showing yourself unconditional love. Okay. I feel like this is making you so attractive to somebody. So attractive. This person is, they're watching you from a distance. Okay. They want to show you affection is what I'm hearing. This person wants to be in a relationship with you. You have the to key to their heart. That's what I'm hearing. This person and you might not be speaking. For some of you, if you are speaking, I feel like maybe it's little to no communication. Um, I feel like during the, the the summer months, I'm just noticing the palm trees and stuff. Um, I'm feeling like this person um, is going to, they're going to open up and expand a little bit more. 
I feel like you guys are going to be able to enjoy your time together a little bit more. Maybe you're going to have more time to spend together. Um, but I feel like this is going to be a connection that is makes you happy. I feel like it's a very playful connection. I feel like the two of you, you both have the same sense of humor. Dark sense of humor, I'm hearing. So <laughs> I feel like you both have this um, like sort of snarky, dark sense of humor. And oops, they like that about you, I'm hearing. They like, they like your intelligence. I feel like this person likes how smart you are and that you're not just... Okay, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I, I feel like this person likes the fact that you're not just a pretty face or a good-looking face, um, that you're also somebody who has brain, okay, which is hard to find sometimes. I know sometimes you can meet people and they're as, like, as smart as a bag of rocks. <laughs> no offense. Um, yeah, this part, this person, you, I feel like their heart chakra has been opening, Scorpio. You've opened somebody's heart chakra. Um, I feel like if you have spent time away from somebody, they're starting to, they're starting to realize that they took you for granted with gratitude. I'm just looking at gratitude as I say that, say that, um, I feel like this person's wanting to open their heart up and, um, because they find you, they think you're perfect. Okay. This person finds you to be perfect. Like the perfect ideal partner that they, that they envision for themselves. I feel like it was definitely something that was completely unexpected. Okay. But this person feels like they hit the jackpot. I'm just noticing this girl, like, you know, she's kind of, um, she's excited about, you know, and all this cash that she's got around her. Um, I feel like you're going to feel like you hit the jackpot. This person certainly does. They, um, they feel like that you're somebody who's very positive. You're like a guiding light in their life, okay? You bring a lot of happiness into their world, I'm hearing, to something that was very, um, very bleak, okay? They're trying to manifest you right now. I feel like this person, um, what did I say about gratitude? Look, this person, I feel like they didn't take you, um, they took you for granted in the past is what I'm hearing. So this person's a little bit concerned about returning if they're not speaking to you. But I feel like this person, if you are speaking, this person has every intention of um, expressing their gratitude or at least um, showing you more attention so that you know that they have gratitude for you, Okay. This person wants, they want you. You're exactly what they want, I'm hearing. You, um, it's like a very playful connection. I feel like you you tease each other a lot. That's what I've hear, I'm hearing. You, you both tease each other. Maybe you could play wrestle. <laughs> so funny. Um, yeah, this person wants to take you on vacation. They want to take you on vacation. They want to get you, like, um, by yourself and, and take you to, like, a beach or something. This is so random, but I'm also hearing somebody say congratulations and handing you some keys. So maybe you're getting a new place, a new house. Um, for some of you, I'm feeling like you got a new car. Or maybe you got it. Maybe it's not new, but you got a newer car. Okay. Or maybe you just got like a vacation rental or something like that. But I'm, I'm just feeling like somebody's handing you keys. Okay. And you feel like you feel like your life's going great. Okay. Um, I feel like a lot of people are into you right now, Scorpio. I feel like you're really attractive this month. And I feel like one of the things that's making you so attractive is that you're remaining positive about your life. You're getting exactly what you want. You're being grateful for these things. Um, you're turning your dreams into a reality, okay? Um, I feel like you could be healing from toxic relationships with heal away addictions. Um, relationships that could have been codependent or just toxic in general. So let's zoom in on these cards so you can see it. I don't know why I'm, I keep hearing. Um, I don't know if I trust it. So I'm feeling like you could be talking to a friend about something this month or maybe in the next coming months. Okay. Maybe somebody from your past returns and you're not sure if you should um, talk to them or trust them because I feel like this person could have been very in and out, very fickle, always trying to play it coy pretend like they didn't they were unbothered by this connection but I feel like this person's coming back because they they miss you I'm hearing they miss you um and you're not sure that you want to allow this person the opportunity to create the same drama that they did in your life before I feel like this person was like 
this person created a lot of emotional instability in your life. I feel like it, it even possibly for some of you, I feel like it could have distracted you from your priorities that you needed to do every day. Um, this person really, um, they played with your emotions. Okay. I've been trying to listen to my guides more about um, channeled messages, so um, if any of these resonates, let me know. Okay, so let's jump in and find out what's going on in this situation. Why is this person thinking about the heart with a key? Spirit. This person, they're realizing that they have, um, that, that you're the one, is what I'm hearing. Okay. Yeah, as I separate, look. As I split the deck, we have kisses, unconditionally loving, falling in love, and then we have wedding rings. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love. Somebody could be getting proposed to. Maybe that's why I'm hearing I now pronounce you husband and wife. It doesn't mean somebody's getting married this month, but maybe that somebody's going to get married. Okay. Okay. So let's find out um, what, what was the challenge in this connection, spirit? What was the challenge in this connection for Scorpio? What's the challenge? Let's see. What's the challenges for Scorpio? We have separation. Okay. The challenge was... Sorry about that, guys. My son was sick. Bottom of the deck, we have not today. So I feel like somebody could have... In the past, I feel like the challenge could have been somebody was avoiding some sort of conversation. Or maybe someone was still upset about something that maybe... Um, the two of you hadn't dealt with, okay, some sort of hurt that happened. And I feel like it caused some sort of separation here between the both of you. But this person is yearning for you, Scorpio. They're unsure if you still feel the same about them, okay? This person knows that the two of you can have it all. They're trying to keep a positive mindset, I'm hearing. They're realizing that they didn't really show you any appreciation. Yeah, hand of cards. This person wants to take a risk and reach out to you. They're, they're... They're not showing their hand. They've they've kept the poker face, I'm hearing. They're going to be r risking it all. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing mirror. Okay. This is somebody, maybe you could be um, reflecting each other's wounds, okay, towards each other. Maybe causing both of you to sort of go within and introspect. This person's definitely feeling heartbroken, okay. They're deeply hurt by, by this separation. But I feel like there is going to be a, some sort of sudden change here in the situation. There is going to be um, shocking news or a message that comes in. And I feel like it's going to be surprising to you. And I feel like it's just going to be, it's going to be this person reaching out to you and t expressing their feelings to you. Yeah. Because right now I feel like this person's in their head. They're replaying things over and over again. Rethinking about, you know, the past conversations. And I feel like this person's going to be, yeah, they're bringing you some sort of truth and clarity. Okay. And they're going to be... Um, they're going to be telling you that they want to protect this connection, um, that they they like you just as much or love you just as much as you love them. They want to continue this connection. They're very passionate about you is what I'm hearing. Yeah. This is a connection that's very lighthearted. Okay. This is a connection that's healing equally. This person feels like you are their soul soulmate. Beautiful. Yeah, I feel like with mask being here, this person was not showing their true feelings and how much they loved you. I feel like they were trying to play coy, like I said. You could be unsure about taking this person back. Again, bottom of the deck, we have wedding rings. They feel like you are um, an everlasting love. They're never going to get over you, I'm hearing. Okay. Okay, sorry, move the camera. Okay, so let's, I'm going to use this deck. I want to know about the past, what happened in the past. Give me the past energies for Scorpio and this person, please, that's in the reading. Whose energy is this in the reading? Give me about the past situation. There could have been some deception here with Five of Swords. Somebody could have um, tried to intimidate you, okay? Maybe they you felt like this person was manipulating you, possibly. The Five of Swords and the Magician. Okay. The truth is, is you're, you're this person's wish fulfillment, I'm hearing. Okay. Tell me about the past. What was this person's energy in the past? Five of Swords. The 
chariot. The two. Okay, wait. The king of swords. The chariot. The two pentacles in reverse and the star. Bottom of the deck, we have the ace of cups. So this was a this was potentially a happiness. Um, this was potentially a, you know a brand new beginning in love with somebody that you saw um, you had a lot of emotions for. I feel like this person equally had emotions for you too. So I'm feeling like in the past um, with the five of swords, king of swords, and the chariot. I feel like you felt like with the five of swords being there, I feel like you felt like defeated. Okay. Um, with this person, there was some sort of defeat there. Maybe you could have even been blaming this person for something. Okay. And I feel like, um, the challenge or the obstacle could have been a king of swords. So this could be either literally a physical person who was in the way somebody had a king of swords. Okay. Or, if it wasn't another person, a third party, this could just be talking about the challenge being maybe for some of you that this person was sort of being cold and aloof, okay? Um, maybe not showing, not showing you any emotion, okay? And with with the um, the outcome in the past being the chariot, I felt like somebody was trying to, maybe for some of you, um, that communication was just broke down, okay? Like your communication was really bad. Um, it, you weren't on the same page okay you maybe in some way had some maybe there was some sort of perhaps maybe you were subjected to some sort some form of like humiliation or or maybe even malicious gossip somebody you felt like maybe somebody used some sort of underhanded tactics okay maybe somebody was even blaming someone else or um, having jealousy or envy that maybe was starting to surface and it was like some things were needing to get worse in order to get better. But I feel like it could have caused um, a breakdown in communication and you felt defeated. I felt like you could have spoke your truth to this person. Or maybe the obstacle was that this person was just not showing emotion. And you could have just taken charge and control back of your love life and, and moved on from the situation. Okay. I feel like you've been healing. Okay. I feel like you've been trying to heal from this connection um, in the meantime. Okay. But I do feel like this person, with the Two of Pentacles being in reverse, I feel like things were not balanced in the past. But with it being in reverse, this is telling me this person is wanting to fix that. They're wanting to balance things out now. Okay? I feel like for some of you, the, the problem could have been that maybe um, the two of you couldn't find um, any balance in the situation. Um You weren't trusting it, okay? There was a difficult finding balance here in the past, okay? Or setting some sort of goal. Um, maybe even self-discipline. Crossing the line that's separating you from, you know, being carefree to maybe even being careless, okay? But this was an opportunity for a new beginning in love. Okay, with the Ten of Wands being in reverse, I feel like you've you've put these burdens down. I feel like you're moving past this, okay? Um, with the Seven of Pentacles being in reverse, I feel like um, somebody, I feel like you're, you're not willing to hold on to any baggage anymore to have a new beginning at love. I feel like there, somebody was left out in the cold or somebody felt left out in the cold. For some of you, maybe this person didn't want things to end, okay? They could be very spiteful now with Queen of Pentacles in reverse. She's not the nicest person, okay? But in some way, this person might feel like they've got victory over the situation, and I feel like that could have been a big issue. Okay, let's lay out a bigger spread. Let's see what's going on. Why is this person coming back into Scorpio's energy? Messages for Scorpio. I'm going to lay down a spread first, and we'll go over everything afterwards, Scorpio. So it's just going to be a short read. Messages for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Venus are rising. Okay. Just. 
Augustus. They told me to take Empress. Okay, Empress. The star. We have the full. It's a challenge. Strength. What is this person's next actions towards Scorpio? The Ten of Cups. What about Scorpio? Scorpio's next actions towards this person. Walking away. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles, okay? Okay, so with the overall situation being the Nine of Cups, okay? I feel like both of you are each other's wish fulfillment, Scorpio. I feel like this person equally cares about you just as much as you care about them, okay? Even if they didn't act that way in the past, I feel like they were trying to play it coy, and I feel like it backfired. I really do. Um, and for some of you, maybe it didn't even backfire. Maybe this person just always assumed that you would be there, okay? And it, it took having to lose you in order for this person to, you know, realize the importance that you played in their life. And for some of you, you could be like, nope, I'm done. I've waited for this long. And you have certainly every right to do that, okay? That's your choice. And for some of you, you might be walking away, okay? Um, with the Nine of Cups being there as the, the situation, this is saying that you can have fulfillment here. This person equally wants the same thing, okay? This is also saying to me that this is your wish fulfillment, okay? Or at least it it was at one time, but it's showing this is the mutual connecting energy right now. So this is still a wish fulfillment for the most of you. Okay, this is about wishes coming true, having satisfaction and success with something, gaining that recognition that you want from this person and, and having pleasure, appreciating um, each other. That's something that's le leading positively to romance, a cheerful romance, okay? Um, being grateful for one another, which is why I feel like it's interesting because we had the card that came out that said gratitude, okay? Um... I feel like this person's current energy right now is Justice Scorpio, which is good energy. Okay, this is what their current energy is right now. I feel like with this person being in Justice energy, this is telling me that this person is returning, okay? After I feel like some sort of conflict or quarrel that you've had in the past with that Five of Swords being there. And this person's wanting to express their feelings and I feel like this person wants to make things fair. I feel like they're going to be somebody who's taken accountability for their past actions. Okay, they're showing integrity. They're realizing that, um, you know, what you what you might have, if you walked away, they're realizing that that was um, something that you did because of a cause and effect that they did. Okay, they're showing integrity though. And they're wanting to take accountability for any consequences that you might have. Um, they want to give you this justice. Okay, they're wanting to make things fairly and accordingly. And I feel like this is something that um, this person wants you to feel like maybe that your romantic efforts made towards them in the past is paying off and being rewarded. They're wanting to compromise with you and, and make things fair, treating, treating you fairly. Maybe something that they didn't do in the past. Okay. I feel like with your energy being the empress, I feel like Scorpio, you, you know your worth, okay? Male or female, you know your worth. You know that you have a lot to offer. You won't settle for less, okay? I feel like you um, also, I feel like this being your energy, I feel like you also, you see the potential for a new nurturing, uh, beautiful beginning here with somebody who you can have abundance with, who... Um, 
who who treats you as the divine feminine okay who somebody who has deeply um embedded embedded with their um femininity okay um you know beginning or and opening up the opportunity for creativity in your life among nurturing and, and many other aspects okay um creatively expressing yourself giving birth to new, something new okay support it being a supportive lover being sensual and in a committed relationship, nurturing this connection. Um, but I feel like it's the birth of a new relationship. Okay. And I feel like this is something that's going to bring good fortune to you. And um, I'm just noticing there's, we have five majors. We have both of the cards in your energy is majors, both of the cards in their energy is majors. Then we have the challenge as a major. Okay. So I feel like right now, both of you could be learning compassion with the strength being there and the challenge, but we'll get to that in a second. This person, what they want from you is the star. Okay. What this person wants from you, Scorpio, is to heal this connection. They want to tell you that they see, they see the truth of the situation now, that they've, they've been given clarity about who it is that you are to them and how much, you know, how much positivity that you brought to their life. They want to renew this connection with a star being there, okay? They're trying to remain optimistic about this, okay? Um, for some of you, this person could be healing from maybe some some um, past wounds or maybe something from their their past or a difficult cycle in their life. Um, but this person is, is we're, they're wanting to, to bring healing to this, okay? Um, and they're wanting to show you the, um, the strength, okay, and this renewed power to carry on with things, okay? And show how abundantly blessed that the two of you are by the universe. Okay, this person feels like you've been a blessing put in their life, okay? And I feel like this is something that's this wanting this person to show you that they want this fulfillment with you. Um, the only thing is, is you're needing courage, okay? Which is the challenge, which is interesting because this talks about having hope. You can have hope, but the challenge is, is being hopeful, okay? And having courage, um, so your, your energy, Scorpio, you want from this person, we have the fool. Okay. I feel like you, um, even though maybe you might've had dispute in the past, I feel like you equally still want this. This is somebody who you see a new beginning with, but this is somebody who you're willing to take a risk with. I feel like you feel like that maybe, um, you know, the positives outweigh the negatives in the situation. You see this person as taking a chance. Okay. This is, um, you know, beginning um, something where you have an idea, taking an adventure with somebody, beginning some sort of new journey with this person, being filled with a lot of optimism and freedom, taking a chance on something that maybe usually would have, you would have had constraints holding you down in life, um, but it's the beginning of a, of a fun, light romance with somebody, a new relationship, okay? I feel like you're wanting to take a risk, okay? You're feeling inspired and courageous for this. And you it's like you realize every day is a chance to open up to new areas in your life. And I feel like this is exactly what you're, you're wanting to take this chance, okay? With this strength card being in the challenge position or an obstacle, it's just something that's challenging the situation or the energies. This is telling me that um, it's essential that the two of you be confident in your in yourselves and within each other, okay. Um, remaining bold in your in your moves that you make next, okay. Taking big steps, you know. Um, getting the strength card means that you are somebody who's needing to be patient with another individual, and it's likely that if you are, you can accomplish anything that you put your mind to. Your resilience is something that's going to greatly aid you and your fearlessness means that you should have no issue speaking your mind. So having fearlessness and um, patience and being courageous and taking a chance, I feel like is something that's needed. Okay. So not getting too in your mind about things. Okay. Um, this person's next actions towards you is the 10 of cups. Okay. So I feel like this person's next actions towards you, Scorpio is beautiful this person is going to be moving. They're not just saying it. It's like they're not just talking the talk. They're also walking the walk. This person's next actions towards you is um, happiness, being um, having complete emotional stability, 
It's giving you security, you know, that domestic harmony. It's um, saying that this person wants family unity together. Maybe you could have children. Um, but this is somebody who is um, asking you to experience a happy life with them and a home. And, you know, have a legacy with them. This is somebody who's saying that they, ha they have a connection with you and they want to be with you because they love you. Okay? This is taking that next step in a relationship to commitment. Something that's going to provide you with a lasting relationship that is, um, you know, long-term stability. Okay? Um, your next actions towards this person was the Eight of Cups. Okay? So, because it's towards this person... So for some of you, I'm feeling like because this is a, such a positive reading and because of what you want with this person, um, some of you could be walking away from something else, okay, in order to move towards this person because this is what your actions, next actions are towards them, okay? Um, so I feel like you could be walking away from something else, maybe a mindset or another relationship, um, you know, being negative about the situation, walking away from, you know, any past you know, um, doubts that you had about this connection because I feel like you want the fool. Okay. This is what you want. You want to take a risk. I feel like you could be walking away from something else, moving towards them. And for others of you may, for some of you, this could be saying that you are going to walk away from the situation. I feel like momentarily, maybe just to gather a little bit of insight and, um, clarity about what it is that you truly want. Okay, it's going to be different for all of you. Um, but I feel like you, if if you are walking away momentarily, I just feel like it could be maybe even, you know, one of those things where you just need to, you know, possibly heal anything else in your life momentarily until you can make your way back to this person. Okay? The advice from spirit is the seven of pentacles. Okay? The advice from spirit is, Scorpio, that you need to... Um, this is something that can grow, okay? This is something that can have progress. Um, but you have to remain um, patient, okay? Another card that's about patience. That you need to plan, okay, carefully with this person so that you can harvest and, and seek these results and rewards, okay? Um, the, the thing that's really sticking out to me is perseverance. Having perseverance so that you can see the growth and progress in this connection. You know, um, planning, so that you, you need to have like some sort of long-term vision so you can have sustainability and assessment, okay? This is asking you maybe to, uh, you know, cultivating your goals through your hard work and your determination with this person. You're going to have to put in the work for this love, okay? It might not be easy. Um, and this is something that can definitely talk about, you know, it being a friendship that turns to romance. This is an invitation for a long-term um, vision, okay? Um, and remember, the best rewards come from sustained effort over time, you know, as opposed to something that is just a quick wind or, or maybe, um, you know, just remembering that, you know, everything may not, you know, happen just as quickly as you want it, okay? You maybe even feel like for some of you that, that this is something that hasn't made enough progress um, over time, but I feel like as long as you can remain patient and vigilant into your having this long-term vision which is interesting because we have dream of abundance we also have gratitude list and then we have visualized success so this is exactly why the the oracle cards are going along with it okay so you can have this relationship um but just making sure that you put in the time and dedication in order to manifest this with this person it's certainly possible okay let's go ahead and pull some messages from your person and find out what they want to say to you. Thank you for everybody who's hitting that like button. I greatly appreciate all of your support. Okay, remember to only um, take what resonates if this doesn't resonate with you. I have many other videos. All of my videos are timeless. Okay, tarot is fluid. Okay, there is no time in tarot. So when you find a video, it will be the time that you're meant to see it. Okay, um, I don't know why I felt the need to say that. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Pentacles. So this is something that is going to be moving slowly. I wanted to know what the possible outcome is. We had the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, this is somebody who, who does move very slowly. Okay, but there's somebody who has integrity. And when they do something, they don't do it to, um, they don't have, they don't take any shortcuts to get there. Okay, they will give all of their effort and um, 
no matter how long it takes, this person will make sure that, that you can count on them and you can depend on them and that you will get exactly what you need. Okay. Okay, what does this person want to say to Scorpio? Sorry about the noise outside, guys. What does this person want to say to Scorpio? This is just for Scorpio. This is just for Scorpio. Bottom of the deck, we have, I fantasize about how life would be with you. Okay, so let's put these to the side. Okay, I'm going to pull some of my personal messages that I made. Messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus arriving. What person wants Scorpio to know? Last shuffle. Okay. I just pulled a bunch of random ones. Okay, let's pull a music card. See what maybe music lyrics could be um, pertaining to this person in this read. This is just for Scorpio. Okay, too many. Give me a card for Scorpio, please. Okay. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have Girls Like You by Maroon 5. Okay, so maybe that's for some of you. Oops. Okay. And let's pull some of these. Okay bottom of the deck we have I'm afraid to contact you yeah this person knows that they've done something in the past that really hurts you I'm hearing okay so the song that came out is beautiful crazy by Luke Combs check out the lyrics maybe that's important to this connection okay we have I want to tell you how I feel and we will be together again I dream of you I'm trying to do this with my head and not my heart. I'm sorry I was mean to you. It's a defense mechanism. I didn't think I could be what you needed or wanted me to be. I don't know what to do, so I do nothing. I learned so much from you, even if you don't know that. Thank you. I have deep and unresolved wounds that you can't fix them. I must do it. I'm not exactly sure how. So this person's still learning. They're still on their healing journey, I'm hearing. Okay, then the messages that I have, we have, I just want to hold you. It's always been you. I need to see you. This was never just about sex. I do care about you. I hope that it's not too late for us. You are everything I've ever wanted. I replay our conversations over and over in my head. I never meant to hurt you again. This person could be another Scorpio. We have, I want to make love to you every day. And I've been holding back my true emotions out of fear. Okay. Scorpio, these are the messages I have for you. If you feel guided to donate, you may do that. In the description box below, we have my cash app. Remember to everybody who donates, you do have automatically entered into a chance to win a free 15-minute personal reading. Um, I do a drawing every first Friday of the month and every third Friday so you do have a chance to win that free reading okay thank you to everyone who has donated thank you for joining me I hope that you were able to gain some insight and clarity until next time Scorpio bye